Hi, it's Mike. This is a ferro cell in front of a small little uh, three inch oscilloscope screen. But this really isn't, oh, it keeps wanting to stick to the top. This isn't what I wanted to show you, although this is too cool. I love it. Oh, look at that. Um, there it goes. Um, <clears throat> I made a cool discovery. Um, it's really cool. And, uh. I think it's amazing and uh, you're probably going to be wanting to buy these little oscilloscope after you see what I found you can do with it so my plan turn on a light here my plan originally was to go you know put some ferrule material make a dielectric viewer on the front of the scope screen but when I put the plastic up in front, something dramatic happened. Um, and since then, I kind of refined it. So I have a piece of plastic with an ABS ring, which just slips right over the tube. Now, I'm going to show you something. Uh, the tube itself supposedly shoots an electron beam. I, I think it's more like a cathode perturbation tube um, if I move my finger you can see that the beams on the other side of the glass um, I mean obviously it's in the vacuum and it's a I'm not affecting it too much here so but I'm just this is a, this thing I found out is so cool watch this I'm going to put my piece of uh, plastic over the screen. had a, another hand there's a few really interesting um, things that are going on here obviously my field is affecting it. the humidity has to be uh, lower than 60% uh, this effect quits happening or it probably doesn't quit happening but it's not as obvious as what this is going on. This dielectric bubble is snapping, <laughs> breaking loose. And if I can play with this with two hands, let's see here. You, you can get some crazy snapbacks. Um, it's like a touch screen. Um, so... This is so sensitive to the electrostatic charge, dielectric field. Um, I think that there's some other cool uses right off the bat for this. Uh, one of them is uh, I heard that bees don't fly, they levitate or hover. 
with a dielectric bubble so I think if a bee sat on this and flapped his wings I think something would would show up here's another neat one if I just go to XY I can just knock the dot somewhere in it you never know when it's going to come back or where it's going to come back from you just kind of send it off somewhere and it comes back from somewhere else and if you go to sweep you can turn it down to that you can send the you can send the beam back <laughs> go back go around go some other way <laughs> 